It was very late at night. I was sitting outside on a rock. As Stan said, I showed him the rock when he came to my home. And I was just thinking, what did I do? I was crying so my family wouldn't see me. And all of a sudden, I saw a light coming towards me. When I saw the light, I thought it was a car. Because in Romania and in Italy, they always try to run me over with cars. So I thought, they found me here too. But it was not a car. The light surrounded me. And out of the light, I heard the same voice. It was the same angel. Dumitri, why are you so despaired? Why did you punish me so harshly? What did I do? Why couldn't you let me stay in prison? But my family would have had a home. I don't have a bed to let my head down on. Why was I brought here? Dumitri, I brought you to this country because this country will burn. So why did you bring me here to burn? Why didn't you let me die in jail in my own country? He said, Dumitri, be quiet. Get beside me. I don't know what the device was, but he pulled me beside him, and he showed me all of California. Do you see what I've shown you? This is a Sodom and Gomorrah. Their sins have reached God, and God has decided to punish them by fire. He came and showed me Las Vegas. This is a Sodom and Gomorrah, and one day it will burn. He came and showed me New York. This is New York. This is a Sodom and Gomorrah. In one day it will burn. And then he showed me Florida. This is Florida. This is a Sodom and Gomorrah. And in one day it will burn. But what will you do with me, I said. I told you to be quiet. And he brought me back to the place we left. He said, now we can talk. I brought you to this country because I love this country. I love the people in this country. And through your mouth, I want to wake up a lot of people. How can you wake them through my mouth when I can't understand anyone? You don't worry about that. I'll prepare some more for you to speak through. You reach television, radio, churches, but tell them everything I tell you. Again, he said, America will burn. But how can America burn when it's so powerful, I said. He said, tell them as I tell you. Hide nothing. If you will try to hide anything, I will punish you harshly. The Russian spies have figured out where the most powerful nuclear plants in America are. When the Americans will think it's peace and quiet, and they rule the world, then from the oceans, out of Cuba, Nicaragua, Central America, Mexico, they will bombard the nuclear plants in America, and America will burn. I said, but what will you do with the church? Said, Many churches have left me. I said, what do you mean? Don't you have people here? He said, tell them this. People glorify people. The honor that Christ deserves. Men take upon themselves. In the church, there's divorce. There's adultery. There's sodomy. There's abortion and all kinds of sin. And Christ will not live in sin. Christ lives in holiness. And I brought you here that you cry out loud. Tell them to stop sinning and to repent. Because God never stops forgiving. Amen? And all those who will stop sinning, and who will repent? God will save in the day of trouble. How can he save them if America burns, I said. He said, tell them this. As I saved Daniel from the lions, this is how I will save them. As I saved the Theolans from the furnace, this is how I will save them. And the word of God says this, 1,000 will fall to your side, and 10,000 to your right, yet no man will touch you, because we are protected by the power of God, and the angels of God are around those that fear Him.
Dar trebuie să ai o viață curată. But brother, your life must be clean. Amen. Amen. Dacă tu ești îngerul lui Dumnezeu. If you are truly the angel of God. Și tot ce îmi spui tu ni scrie în Biblie. Everything you say to me must be written in the Bible. Eu pot să greș la americani. If it is, then I can say this to the Americans. Dar dacă nu scrie în Biblie, nu pot. If it's not in the Bible, I won't say a word. Tu ai citit în Ieremia? Have you read Jeremiah? Da, am citit. Yes, I have. Ai citit în Ieremia? Did you read Jeremiah 51? Zic că am citit. Of course I have. Ce înțelegi acolo? What did you understand? Păi vorbește despre Babilonul vechi. It speaks about the old Babylon, I said. Oh, să mai citește odată. He said, read again. Să mai citește odată. Read again. Că spune despre America. Because it speaks about America, not Babylon of old. Apocalipsa 18 ai citit? Have you read Revelation 18? Am citit, zic, tot cu privire la Babilon. He said, yes, it's also about Babylon. No, ia să mai citește odată. He said, read it again. Ca să deschid mintea să înțelegi. I will open your mind and you will understand. Eu vă spun să citiți din Ieremia 51, versetul 7. Brothers, let's read out of Jeremiah 51. Începem cu 7. We'll start with verse 7. And it says, Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk. The nations drank her wine, therefore the nations are deranged. Amen. Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Now, are the Arabs Babylon? Those that don't even believe in God? Let's try to understand. Who is Babylon? At one point, David says, Your word, O Lord, is more precious than gold. America had the word of God in its hand. America trusted in God. America had missionaries. America spread the gospel throughout the world. Many people came to God. But America itself fell from the truth. And we ask ourselves, America a căzut, fraților. Has America fallen from the truth, brothers? Și acum ne întreabă, zice, am vrut să vindic Babilonul. And further down it says we would have healed Babylon. Dar nu s-a vindicat. But she is not healed. Nu, hai, părăsăți-l și hai fi care în țară. Forsake her, everyone. Că pe deapsa lui s-a aprobat. For her punishment is near. Și ca să noi să ne încredințăm că e America. So that we know it is America. Să citim versetul 13. We'll jump to verse 13. O you who dwell by many waters, abundant in treasure, your end has come, the measure of your covetousness. Again, you who dwell by great waters, abundant in treasure, your end has come. And verse 14, Surely I will fill you with men as with locusts, who will shout cries of war against you. Now which country is filled with men? Which country does everyone come to? Who wants to immigrate to Iraq, to Hussein's country? But ask other people who wants to immigrate to America. Because they see that all the good things come from America. Oh, that's where God is. As I once thought, I thought God erected the dead in this, in this country. I would never have believed such wickedness could exist here. I went to an American church in California. And I went, you know, Maybe the brothers would help me get a bed. But they were having prayer for the sick. So I thought to myself, my legs still hurt. I'm going to go and ask them to pray for me also. But I saw two guys with a blanket. I wonder what they're going to do with the blanket. Oh, you're going to see. And an old lady walks up slowly. The guy smacks her in the forehead. And then covers her with a blanket. When I saw this, I thought he killed the old woman. I went and I tried to lift the blanket. Now, what's this? Huh? Or at least you honest. Why? What's wrong with what we're saying? Because you hate me. Say it again? You hate me. Hey, I learned it from you. So give me the sign. White people can't say I'm wrong for hating them. I learned it from y'all. I learned it from you, from Donald Sterling, from, uh, from Mark Cuban. I learned it from y'all. I learned it from Paula Dean. I learned it. From, I learned how to hate from white people. God loves everybody. Right? Say it again. No, he does. God loves everybody. Can yeah, you I'll prove do. that? Of course. Prove it. I feel it. Hey, I, I, I come back. We got it. Come on, chill out. 
prove it. I just, I feel it. I feel oh, no, your me. feelings. Your yes. feel, give me, um, give me a uh, private, um, uh, Jeremiah 17. What you feeling in your heart? In your mind, your heart? Okay, let's see what God said about the heart. <laughs> By Jeremiah 17 and 5. Hey, Rebbe, does God love everybody? Rebbe? You don't even know where you at right now, huh? Right, Jeff, my 17 and 5. But anyway, let's continue on. Does God love everybody? She feels in her heart that God loves everybody. Read. Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Good. Thus saith the Lord. Good. Cursed be the man. Uh, uh, 4, so like uh, 4. Oh, no, uh, uh, 9. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Read. Read. Jeremiah 17, verse 9. Good. The heart is deceitful. The Lord said, your heart is deceitful. Go ahead. Above all things. Above all things. When you go by your own mind or what your heart feels, it's deceitful above all things. Go ahead. And desperately wicked. And what? And desperately wicked. And the heart is desperately wicked. And we went by our own heart. Excuse me? We have different kind of hearts? Your heart is really representing the mind because your heart don't really have no feelings. It's, it means your mind. Yes, we have different minds. I have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of this world. Right, so if we hate, we learned it from you so-called white people. You white people can't say nothing to blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yo! Can I keep it down some? So like it. Right, you can't say nothing to blacks and Latinos and Native Americans about hate. You can't say nothing. I love everybody. Excuse me? I love everybody. That's your heart and your feelings again. Read it again. <laughs> Read it again. The heart is deceitful. The heart, the mind is deceitful. Come on. Above all things. Above all things. Go ahead. Desperately wicked. And it's desperately wicked. Go ahead. Who can know? Who can understand? Who can understand? The, the apocrypha tells you a man's mind, it can tell him seven different things at one time. Yep. But your, 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 your mind is like a tower. It can tell you seven, twenty, ten different things at a time. So where do we learn hate from? From you so-called white people. Y'all the best teachers of hate. Y'all the best teachers. I learned it from y'all. Right? And of course, the most high Christ. Give me no name is Where we learned it from them. How can we not have hatred when the white man is the best teacher of hatred? Right? You niggas and the Spanish can't deny it. If y'all deny it, then y'all lying. Right? They just found a black woman hung in Central Park. That's hatred. Right? We learned hate from y'all. In 2014, they're still hanging black women in Central Park. In Central Park. In Central Park, right, yes. Right up here. Right, right up here, yes. Right up here, uh, 59th Street, about what? Less than 20 blocks away from here. Yeah. Less right? than a so, mile. Less than a mile. They found a black woman hanging in 2014. Did you did you read the story, brother? Oh no, I ain't going to huh? right? But I'm gonna put your oh, yeah, story yeah, though, yeah, right? Saw, yeah. You saw the story on the internet, right? Yeah, yeah. Con, there you go. Right? And listen. No, you didn't. We as a people, say it again? <laughs> no, you didn't. You can't say that, brother. You don't you don't say you Yo, wasn't there. You when can't are y'all gonna get over it though? When Excuse me? Get, when you gonna get over it? When Donald Sterling gets over it. Oh, right. Who the fuck is Donald Sterling? Damn, right now? you in an ice age, Negro. Idiot. Where the yeah. hell you been at, man? My man. What the hell you Donald been? Sterling doesn't mean nothing right now. What the right hell now? you been at? You in an ice age, stone age, Negro. You black oh, people man. can't come to my game. Right. Okay. Right, 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 right. And? All right, well, you know what? Stay he in darkness. got from NBA, right? Stay in darkness. No, he didn't get banned from NBA. He sold a team for $2 billion. He going to live fat now. Walk it. Right, God, brother, read. Read. You talking about Donald Sterling? Why, though? Right. What does Donald Sterling have to do with what you preaching? Because it shows our people that we need to only love one another. And it shows us how enemies still feel about us today. What's your nationality? I'm Puerto Rican. And what? I'm Puerto Rican. Right, your father's Puerto Rican? Yeah. Your mother's Puerto Rican? Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, okay, so... Maybe that's our answer. Right, go ahead, brother. Read. Read. Amos 5.15. Well, you go ahead, brother. If, if it don't matter to you, then go ahead. Live your life. Do what you yeah, want to do. I want to I wanna listen. I'm, right. here to, I'm here to learn. Right, go ahead. Amos 5.15. Yeah, Come on. Hey, hey, hey. What the Lord say? Hey, the evil. What the Lord say? Hey, the evil. Now, we, we, we surely know that this wasn't good. Was this evil or was this good? It was evil, right? A lot of evil. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about this right here, right now. Like I'm not talking about a lot of evil. I'm talking about this evil. I like your word about like, Read again from the top, brother. Read. These Read. pictures ain't even hey. in color. They black and white. Excuse me? Like that matter. That's a very intelligent statement. <laughs> right, God, brother. Read. Read. Yes. Read. Hey, the what did Lord say? Hey, the but before pictures were, were color, what color were they? Black and white. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Can somebody tell this guy? <laughs> right, go ahead, brother. Read, read. And love the good. What did the Lord say? And love the good. The Lord said, hate the evil and love the good. This was evil. That was they evil. continue to be evil. Hanging blacks in Central Park is evil. Right, come on. In New York City. Right, read, 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 God, God. 
Yo, lock and load, they might be a problem. Lock and load. Right? Right, lock and load. They, they might they might act up. Right? But there's ways to put them. You see, that's black on black yeah, crowd. Say it again. That's black on black crowd. No, that's Hebrew Israelites. That's black on black crowd. Like you're talking about whites. Of it's African. Hating y'all. Right, God, oh brother. Your own kind is hating y'all. That, they're not our people. Those are Africans. Those are Hamas. Where's that Jake? That's the same Jake. Well, that's Jake. That's simple Jake. That's Jake. Right, God, brother. Read. Read. The, the, the Bible said, hate the evil and love the good. God. African American. Right. 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 You can have your money. You can have your money. Right, you have your money. Right, you have your money. Right, God, brother. Me, Ring. Have to deny. I love you as a brother. Period. Peace. Peace. Don't call me evil. No, this all peace. I mean, I'm gonna lie. I love you as a brother. Right, right, right. Hate the evil. Right, right. Hate the evil. Right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. Hey yo, what Lord say? Hey yo, and establish judgment in the gate. Right, come on, John. Oh, we Muslims over here. You supposed to love your Muslim brother like you love yourself. Bro. What, what's your nationality? You over here judging. I'm African American. All right, now we're not supposed to love Muslim brothers. We're supposed to love brothers that know that they Hebrew Israelites and keep God's laws. <laughs> Islam is just another religion. What the fuck is right? you talking about? Right, God, brother, read. Right. You ain't supposed right. to love your brother. Right, no. It, <laughs> not if you're dealing with Islam. Islam is a false religion. And there's no need for disrespect. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm saying, but there's no need for disrespect. Well, I thought you was a Muslim. Right, I you I'm not a Muslim. Right. I'm not a Muslim. Religion. Religion. No, I'm not a Muslim. Right. You believe it's like God, brother, read. 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 Yeah. read. Yeah. All right, whatever. All right, all right. All right. You look like you all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You're a Muslim, but you smoking a damn whatever the hell. Right, God, brother, read. Disrespect, man. Disrespect. Can I put a curse? Right there. No, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. Disrespect. Disrespect. Then when they go to the hood and get a bullet in their hand, then everybody. Oh, he was so cool. He was so nice. Nine times out of ten, he was, it was so it was cool. Who? He was so cool. He was so nice. Nine times out of ten, it was who? Who? Another black or Hispanic man. Exactly. Used, used as a deaf agent to kill a dumb, simple Negro or Hispanic. Right, God, brother, read. Read, read. Yo, you don't make no sense. Oh, you know what, God? You, 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 catch that kill each other, you catch that kill each other in the hood? God used us as deaf angels against each other because y'all simple and ignorant like and y'all hate any uh, y'all own people. like dry God, humor, read. right? Read. Hey, no, the, the joke is really on you, but you don't realize that. The joke right. is on you. You don't even know what the joke is. The Bible says, hate the evil and love the good. Your Bible says that. And the what? And establish judgment. Come on. In the gate. The Lord said, hate the evil and love the good. So God does deal with hate. Give me Sirach 22 and uh, 12. Give me Sirach chapter 22, verse 12. Because a lot of our people are foolish, they're ignorant, they don't know any better. They come against us for teaching the truth, so now we got a mark. Right? Uh, please ask us 22 and 12. Right? Unbelievable, man. Ain't no damn Muslim out here, no. Oh, I thought you was a Muslim. Then when, blah! Nigga get his cap peeled. Then you wonder why. See, because but it's okay simple. for you to say and nigga, right? Yes, yes, it's okay. It's what okay does the word for nigga you mean? to say nigga, right? What does the word nigga mean? What does a white nigga mean? No, what does the word nigga mean? The word, the word nigga was used by ignorant what? <laughs> no. Oh. By ignorant what? No, no. no well, I said ignorant no, what? No, no, By no. ignorant Learn white people. About the word. My God, brother, read. Yeah, you sound yeah. stupid. You sound real here. stupid. You, you sound, sound so even stupid. more stupid, son. And I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you that out of the Bible, son. You sound even more son. stupid. You Go sound ahead. even more stupid. That's your Bible, Why you look nigga. stupid with that tongue ring? Right nigga, there, why are you in my mouth? Because yeah, yeah, your mouth is constantly open. Why are you in my mouth? Because your mouth keep running and you don't know a damn thing. Brother, That's in why. my mouth. Your mouth keep opening and you don't know nothing. Right there, brother. Sirach, 22, verse 12. Go ahead, read. Seven days, do men move. No, uh, 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 jump down to 14. Verse 14. With the fool. Unbelievable, man. No, 21 and 12. That's what I want. Sirach, 21 and 12. Unbelievable. No, no, you got to understand. Listen to me. Right? Unbelievable. Listen to me. Listen to me. But because we're not talking about Kanye's wedding, listen to what he's saying. Right? Or, or some nonsense, our people don't want to hear it. Um, um 13, 22, 13. Right, Sirach 22 and 13. They don't want to hear it, but they're gonna hear God and Christ when he speaks to them. And the angels and the judgment. When the judgment come upon them, they're gonna hear that. Right, so God. Sirach 22, 13. Right. 22, verse 13. God. 
Yeah. The law said talk not much. Come on. With a fool. See that you can't talk much with a fool, man. Right, come on. Just listen to what they say. And what? And just listen to them. And go not to him. Come on. No understanding. They have what? They have no understanding. You can't deal with people that don't have no understanding. It's, 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 the conversation is null and void. Right, come on. Beware of him. The Lord said beware of them. When you see them, you can spot them a mile away. Beware of them. Come on. Let's thou have trouble. The Lord said, "Let you have trouble." All it's going to do is it's going to get into contention. That's why a lot of times we tell our people, if you don't agree with us, you want to throw insults at us and talk all reckless, then you should just leave. It ain't. This is not for you. Why waste your time? Why waste your beautiful spring summer, uh, spring night, or something you don't agree with, and you think we fool, we stupid, we don't know what we're talking about? You sound stupid right now. Wouldn't that even make you more stupider for standing here listening to somebody that's stupid? Right, come on, brother, leave. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. How, how stupid, he just called me stupid. How stupid does that make you to stand there and listen to somebody that sounds stupid? Yo, what kind of Bible is that? What kind of Bible is that? What kind of Bible is that? That's the real Bible. That's the only Bible. The King James Version 1611. You're telling me that in the real Bible, my God is calling us fools. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Read again from the top. That's what you're telling me. Not much with a fool. What did I say? Talk. Not much with a fool. There you go. It's right in the Bible. There you go, it's right in the Bible. God said it out of the Holy Bible. Right? But it's best, you know what? Have a good night. You know what I'm saying? I bid you peace. I'm learning. Because we have we have no agreement. You don't agree with what we're we saying. We're gonna learn today. Have a good night. He's teaching. Goodbye. We're right, gonna go, learn. Go, go, you gotta listen top. to the man, but he's saying this correctly. Right, 22 and 13 again. Talk not much with a fool. The Lord said, don't talk much with a fool. Come on. Go not to him. They have no understanding. You can't deal with a person that don't have understanding. Right, come on. Beware of him. Beware of him. Come on. Lest you have trouble. You gotta be aware of that. All it's gonna do is, 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 is get into contention, and you already see where else is gonna go. Because you know how blacks and Hispanics are. We can't agree with each other. When we get mad, you can't challenge them on knowledge. Then it goes to a next level. That's how we defeat each other. Right? Come on, brother Reed. A thou shall never be defiled. The Lord said, you don't never be defiled. Go ahead. With his foolery. Because the conversation not gonna go nowhere. You're just gonna get into what they talking about, and it's not gonna get to anything. Right? Come on. Depart from him. The Lord said, depart from him. Ignore him or step away from them, God. And thou shalt find rest. The Lord said, What? And thou shalt find rest. And you're gonna find rest. You say, you know what? I got I gotta leave you alone. I can't deal with you no more. Then you find rest. Right? Come on. And never be disquieted. And, and never be disquieted, God. With madness. With, with madness. Right? Come on. What is heavier than lead? And what is the name thereof? The Lord said, What is heavier than lead or the name thereof? Come on. What? A fool. But a fool. The Lord said it's is is Carrying lead is better off than trying to deal with a fool. The Lord said lead. What is heavier than lead and the name thereof but a fool? Right, come on. Sand and salt. The Lord said sand and salt. Come on. And a mass of iron. And a mass of iron. Go ahead. It's easier to bear. It's easier to bear. Come on. a man without understanding. The Lord said it's easier to deal with sand and salt and iron than somebody without understanding. I mean, is the scriptures clear? As the script is clear, it's easy to, to carry a bag of sand or a big uh, a load of iron than to try to deal with somebody with no understanding. These pictures ain't even hey, in color, they black and white. Excuse me? 